Get job status returns the status of a process, such as whether it's exited normally, had minor errors, or is still in progress. This function is available for T1 version 12 and can only be used with Turbo Integrator. The function requires one parameter, which is the ID of the process. The value returned by get job status can be compared to these process statuses. Although each process status has a value, if you want to use get job status, it would be safest to compare the results with the process status function instead of the value since it is guaranteed to check what you want it to do and it is easier to maintain. In this demo, get job status will be used to return a process's status. If the process is still in execution, cancel the process. You will also learn how to export a list of process status codes and their value for your reference. On the left process, the first line will run the process syssleep that is on the right window. The sleep process has been set to sleep for 30 seconds. Get job status will be used to retrieve the ID. And if the process execution is still in progress, I want to cancel the job. To test this process, I'm going to use the debug feature by setting up breakpoints to see what is captured. Next, I'm going to turn on the debugger, debug the process, which will then stop at the first line. Run process has returned an ID. Next, I'll continue to the next breakpoint. Get job status has returned 10 because the process is still executing. Because the if condition is true, it will run the next line to cancel the job. To get a list of process status codes, repurpose this code that will export the results in a file.